Gender politics is always tricky territory, and Canada's justice minister finds himself on shaky ground right now. It's about comments Peter McKay made about the role of women in society. In a private meeting with lawyers, he talked about why so few women apply to be judges. Then emails to his staff emerged, suggesting mothers mostly change diapers while fathers shape future leaders. McKay himself is saying little, but now, as Jen Tryon reports, his wife has come to his defense. It started with too few female judges, and Peter McKay's reported comments that the lack thereof was because of their bond with children. A complete mischaracterization. Then, it was the misogynistic tone when comparing the minister's Mother's and Father's Day greetings. Thank you, mothers, for changing diapers. Thank you, fathers, for molding the minds of the future. A little bit condescending, a little outdated for sure. A gender and political debate raged in the House and online. He's put his foot in his mouth. In his mouth. I'll let him get on with his life. Most accused McKay of living in the Stone Age, many wondering how Canada's justice minister could be tied to such sexist remarks. Sounds a little sexist. The debate prompted a newspaper reporter to publish an open letter asking his wife what she makes of her man's apparent attitude towards women and schooling her on modern day motherhood. McKay is married to Nazanin Afshin Jam, former Miss World Canada, but also a high profile human rights activist and a year and a half ago became a mother. The reporter's letter ended with a tip. Don't be afraid to ask your husband to do more. I know he's busy. Ashfeen Jam didn't stay silent long. She said she'd be outraged too if her husband had made those comments. She fired back with her own open letter, saying that's not the equal partner she lives with. Even after putting in 16-hour workdays as the main income earner in our household, he does all the sewing. His grandfather taught him, mows the lawn, and takes out the garbage and recycling. We both change diapers. Isn't the whole point of feminism that we're allowed to design our own lives? Now the Twitterverse is abuzz again. I can't get the image of Peter McKay darning socks out of my mind, the reporter tweeted. And the man behind the comments and controversy is now doing none of the talking. Jennifer Tryon, Global News, Toronto.